welcome to round three using burn in modern we are against darkness prince darkens darkens prince i don't know what that means some sort of dark prince but as far as our opening hand is concerned it's pretty reasonable so we're going to keep this two good one drops boris charm Always happy to see a Boris Charm. Okay, what's happening here? We're going to go with a mountain to start with because if they're on burn, then the not taking damage off our lands will be incredibly relevant. If they're on just guide control, then again, the not taking damage from our lands can be relevant. If they start going bolt snap bolt on us after dealing with all our threats, Sacred Foundry. So again, they still could be on either. Um, I don't imagine this card will live though. Okay. What have we got? All of Omens. No, Chalice of the Void. So this is probably that red-white Blood Moon deck. Chalice on one. Okay, let's get this shrine down before they cast another chalice. Do we want to go for anything other than mountain? This blood moon is just going to wreck us anyway. Mm, if they go turn three blood moon, then the Boris charm. <sighs> let's see what's on top of the library. Another land. Uh, I feel like getting the Shrine of Burning Rage and start ticking up would probably be better. Because if we cast the Blood Moon, if we cast Boris Charm now and they get Chalice on two with a Simeon Spirit Guide, then that's bad. Also, if they cast Blood Moon, then that's bad. But I think having the shrine definitely down is probably better than just sneaking in the extra extra four points of damage now. And also, if we're going mountain mountain, it might put them off just playing a blood moon now. They might do something else, thinking that blood moon is not going to be very good against us. Oh, they just shoot our goblin guide. Off we go. Chandra? No. Chalice on two. How quickly can you kill us, mate? Oh, for crying out loud, Gideon. I hate this card so much. Emblem. Oh, that's also annoying. Um, there's nothing we can do.
so that's, yeah, we, we, we aren't winning this game at all. Don't take eight damage. Hopefully, just our opponent then just kills us with some other sort of damage. Uh, okay. That was crazy. Chalice of the Void is a pain. <laughs> so obviously we want Chalice, and I don't think we really want Core Firewall, core firewall in this. Um, and I'm willing to put Shattering Sprees and Destructive Revelries in because Chalice is just such a beating. To reduce the impact of a Chalice on 1, I'm happy to take out Lava Spike. And to reduce the impact of Chalice on 2, take out Searing Blaze. Also, Searing Blaze appears to do absolutely nothing to our opponent. To the point where, actually, the... No, they're going to play Path to Exile, so bringing in Gore Firewalker is just completely pointless. Um, I just feel like, actually, maybe we want Grim Lava Mancer instead of Searing Blaze. We'll just do that. Stretch of Revelry also hits Blood Moon as well, which I'm almost certain they're going to be playing. Grim Lava Mancer isn't great, but it's just repeatable damage. So This hand is, is fine, but if they go Chalice on 1 on turn 1, it, doesn't, it does nothing against us. It's more the Chalice on 2 that I'll be worried about. I would like some more interaction to be able to kill the chalice, but this is 7, this is 10, 14, 15, 17 damage on its own, which I think is good enough. It's a good amount of pressure to actually just hopefully get there. It might just be straight up not enough interaction, and also something that struggles with an early Gideon. Although it shouldn't struggle with an early Gideon because we can just burn it, but we don't really want to be using our burn spells on our opponent's planeswalkers. But I just think we probably won't have any choice. End step. Just do three to our opponent. Okay, so that's interesting. If we we're really weak to Blood Moon, like really weak to Blood Moon, I think we want to resolve a Goblin Guide. Keeping the foothills up, vaguely plays around Blood Moon. Well, I say vaguely, it doesn't really play around it at all. But we took a hand with no interaction with what they're doing, so it's our own fault. Planes into the reveal cards. They might just go for a Chalice on one here because we're leaving up the one mana. I suggest we've got more one drops, but it instant speed. I also can't help but feel we're telegraphing that we've got tons of two casting cost stuff. No, we're just going for the same play as before, which is fine. I think we have to get the stomping ground here. Okay. Pass the turn. Okay, I am somewhat stunned that we're not just getting chaliced blood moon or whatever. Maybe now we will. Chandra. Oh, that's much worse. Does that actually tap? 
target opponent doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. Fine. If we put four and three is seven, we can put them to seven, then he's going to gain three by helixing us and go back up to ten. The fact that Ajani Vengeance gains life makes me want to just kill it immediately. Frustrating. But he has to he has to die. It's annoying when you've got a lethal amount of like damage in your hand, but as I say, the fact that he just gains so much life, or potentially could gain any amount of life, is not ideal. We'll play this, and if he goes to Helix something, we can we can skull crack in response, which is nice. Um well, yeah, I guess that just happens. Maybe they had a lot of reactive cards like Cosette's Return, Lightning Helix. And as we haven't played many creatures, they're just not able to really do anything with them. I don't really feel like there's a need to hold this It's far advantage. Probably a mistake to do that. Oh, for crying out loud, more land. Now we'll hold that land because it's just not doing anything. I probably should have waited to then, like, skull crack, be able to skull crack and then skull crack in response to a, a, a lightning helix. That would have been better. But I was hoping to have just drawn like anything at that point to make the the skull crack lethal. Chalice on one. I cannot do anything about. Yeah, so any other two drop burn spell is good. Yeah, ensnaring bridge is fine. Makes you glad about all that extra artifact hate. Oh, come on, deck. Um, I think I have to fire this off now if they have something they have something Goblin Guide doesn't do it darn just need to Draw something to get rid of the enchantment, really. Don't blood me. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's no way we can win now. No, that's not true. We can win three creatures if we draw Shattering Spree. What the hell is this? Wow, that's that's next level cyborg right there. I mean, my my shrine of burning rages weren't going to kill you anyway. What with you know laying on a sanctity, but <laughs> how many lands was that in a row? Okay. He's just casting Anger of the Gods to get cards out of his hand. It's quite an amusing idea. I can't attack you because all my creatures cost one mana. <sighs> oh. 
Wow. Uh-huh. Okay, fine. So I can kill Chalice of the Void and Incinerating Bridge. Replicate it twice. Oh, did I? I did it too many times. Fine, whatever. Yep. What is it doing? You're targeting that. You're targeting that. You're targeting that. Well, this is depressing. <sighs> Great. So yeah, I misclicked and targeted um, them all um, with Ensnaring Bridge, but To do that. Although that said, I can cast this. It's not gonna. It's not gonna achieve anything. I think we probably just have to rift bolt the spirit guide. There's not very much else we can really do. Chalice for three is, is largely irrelevant. Just hoping to draw the second copy of Shattering Spree. He thinks 13 is a suitable amount to attack us with. If fairness to him, if we went. Shattering spree. If we cast shattering spree and then hit with lots of one ones, then uh, that would be bad for them. Okay, let's see if I can do this without misclicking. So the original will get copied, and then we have chalice, chalice, ensnaring bridge. So we will choose. Ensnaring Bridge. Replicate three times. Well, I'll be honest, I did not see that coming. The original misclick was annoying, as probably could have called that back, just been playing creatures and killing the Gideon, and then having enough to slowly get through damage to Wim, but they had Anger of the Gods as well, so it may not have even been a problem for them, so oh well. <laughs>